My grandmother once said to me, if you learn to handle the Queen's English, people will not question your education. And I think I fooled a lot of people for a long time. When I went to Canberra, I had to borrow five dollars off my young man, who is now my stepson, and Rory, to go to Canberra. That's all the money I had. But the day I was sworn in was, was a very emotional day for me. I could visualize, I could hear voices. And amongst those voices was the voice of my grandfather saying, it's all right now, boy. You are finally in the council of the Australian elders. I saw my responsibilities as a parliamentarian was my almost all-consuming, burning desire to help my own people, the Aboriginal community, to become respected, responsible citizens within the broader Australian community. I was a new boy in Parliament. I was the first Aboriginal ever to go into Parliament. I was treated totally as an equal on my feet. But I think there was a feeling that I was a lesser person. I was a member of the party, fiercely, proudly a member of the party, but I was not blindly a member of the party. I had a conscience, and political parties don't need people with a conscience. They want bottoms on seats and hands in the air at the right time. Whilst we, the Aboriginal people, the first Australians make up 2% of the Australian population, there is not an Aboriginal voice in the federal parliament. Rightly or wrongly, I feel that there'll never be another one in my lifetime. I am Neville Bonner, proudly an Aborigine and proudly a member of this Australian community. I am a token for no person. <laughs>